Almost forgot to turn the mic on. Hi, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing really well today. We are continuing on with our February theme of recipes I'd love to try um, for three of the weeks and then the week where we're doing kind of the French recipes, language of love for Valentine's Day kind of stuff. Anyhow, we're going to do our breakfast of the week for the kids books recipes um, I've always kind of wanted to try. Um, it is Green Eggs and Ham from the book Green Eggs and Ham by the great Dr. Seuss. Reminder, I own no rights to any of this. I don't make money off this, so I don't know how much it matters, but I'm going to say it anyway, just to be safe. But I've, I mean, everyone's read it, I would imagine. There's so many great books by Dr. Seuss. That was always a fun one. And, you know, when you're a kid, you might have sided more with Sam I Am. Like, why, why would I eat green eggs and ham? Or is he talking to Sam I Am? Yeah, I will not eat them, Sam I Am. Okay, so yeah, he's talking to it, so the guy won't eat them. Anyhow, fun book. Should be an easy enough. We're just going to make green eggs and green ham like the picture on the book shows. Let's get to it. It's time for another episode of Cooking with Caitlin. That's me. Enjoy. All right, we're going to start by getting all our eggs cracked and in this. This is one where we're just going to do scrambled eggs for it. No, it's the one where it's the green yolk fully whole inside the whites on the photo. You'd have to be kind of a magician to separate the yolks, make them green without them just being spoiled, and then uh, putting them back in the egg whites. But you know, it was Dr. Seuss's world. We're just living in it. We're going to do scrambled with no shell coming out. See, it's just however many people are eating and however many eggs they want. So just kind of that's your go to or that's how you're figuring it out. All right, hang on. All right, we're gonna do just a little bit of seasoning. So some salt in our eggs, a little pepper, just kind of like how you'd normally prep them. Do a little milk in them. You don't have to, but it can be nice. It's just a little splash. I'm going to get this all mixed together first before we add the food coloring. Alright. Alright, so about to add the food coloring there and actually decided we're going to do, we're doing ham in this, we're doing the eggs in that one. So I'm going to start melting the butter for the ham to kind of be sizzling in because that's how we're going to help make our ham green, hopefully, without it being crazy dyed. Alright, just adding some drops, you can see that does first see how much more we need. <laughs> but yeah, we've got both our skillets heating up. All right, that was three drops in and uh, we have a total of six eggs. That splash of milk couldn't have been more than a third of a cup at most. All right, and these are fairly green. I think I'll do just one more drop in case it kind of cooks a little different, but that should be all we need for that. And we have green eggs, y'all. <laughs> I 
All right, I'm gonna pause you and move you. All right, so we've melted some butter in here. I'm gonna just do some red, or not some red, some green food coloring. Actually, just to, just gonna stir it all around. Get it all nicely kind of distributed and coated. And we're gonna put one of our ham slices on it. To kind of help make that green. And we've got this heating up for our eggs. And that egg yolk did not burst. If I can get it swirled up now, it should be good. There we go. Kept thinking I was seeing a little yellow. Didn't realize it was a whole yolk. All right, we're just letting the ham kind of get to this nice kind of sizzle. kind of crisping up a little on each side. I might have accidentally taken some of the other slice because this is cut very well. Oh, it's fine. And we're just keeping an eye on the eggs, just stirring them around as they cook. Flip. It may not do it on both sides, but we've got one side that's green ham. That's pretty cool. But we'll still let it heat up on the other side and whatever goes green can go green. Okay, we'll pause and come back when it's all kind of done. All right, the ham is done. The eggs are done. Just gonna plate them for us. <laughs> oh my goodness. But there it is, green eggs and ham. Bon appetit. See you later.